Hey there! Are you lazy? Do you want an easy way of farming twigs and grass without playing wicker bottom? If the answer is yes, here's how you can make twig and grass farms with any character. Monkey. First, the twig farm. Grab a tail locate a focus, place your cursor in the middle of a tile, and move it one unit down. Now build a large fence around it. Make sure you are using a double gate for the entrance. Now grab a bunch of twiggy tree cones and plant them one in the middle of each tile. Now socket the gem stands with purple gems. Place a lightning rod nearby. Now go to the moon key and grab a powder monkey. It is important to get the monkey from the portal, which doesn't have a bandana or a sword. Like this one. Just teleport it to your farm. And that's it. Now you just have to wait. See, the twiggy trees will drop twigs every time their growth cycle resets. Here's a couple of things you should know about twiggy trees. Twiggy trees scan a two-tile radius every time a cycle ends. If there are no twigs in that radius, they have a 100% chance of dropping twigs. Like so. Now, according to the DSD wiki, if there is one twig on the ground, the tree has a 50% chance of dropping twigs when it resets. And the trees will not drop any more twigs if there are two or more twigs in the radius. This limited the twiggy tree's efficiency as an automatic farm, but using a powder monkey to pick up the twigs as soon as they spawn fixes the problem. If you want this farm to work even faster, socket this with purple gems again, and teleport grass gators inside. Contrary to their names, grass gators actually drop twigs periodically. You have shown me, monkey. The same concept works for grass geckos as well. Build a telelocator focus in the middle of a tile. Now fence a 3x3 tile area with a double gate entrance. Then bring in the grass geckos. I recommend just freezing them and pushing them in like this. The double gate makes it safer. Now just socket the gem stands. Don't forget the lining rod. And go get another monkey. Now not only does the monkey pick up all the grass that the geckos spawn, but it also spooks them, which means that the grass geckos will drop their tails as soon as they respawn. I simply love this setup because it solves the main problem of grass gecko farms. See, the traditional setup causes a lot of lag because of the amount of entities on the ground, which is not a problem with a powder monkey. Mm, monkey. Now, when you want to collect the resources, simply kill the monkey, and all the resources will be neatly stacked for you to pick. Now just socket the gems again. Give a banana to the monkey queen to get rid of the trinket. And teleport another monkey. Simple as that. Well, that's just about it. It's a simple farming mechanism, but it's quickly become one of my favorites. Have fun using them in your own worlds. And remember, stay lazy and stay efficient. Never trust a YouTuber.